Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We are hopping on with yet another K-Band today. It's just tremendously exciting indeed. Yuda Bim Band, one of my favorites out of Great Soul Invasion, has released a brand new song titled Over the Dream. Now, today, I think it was today, uh, was the day that the... No, this dropped on the 2nd, so this dropped yesterday. But, this is their, like, studio version. The proper studio recording version of their song, Over the Dream. And it looks like, from the video we're watching today, they've performed this in the past already. That is tremendously exciting indeed. I do love a good K-band, and you'd have been band were one of those groups in uh, Great Soul Invasion that really caught my eye. And I've been excited for all their stuff ever since learning about them. And kind of like the vibe of just... They're just five friends who really love to play in a band. And just kind of enjoy the fact that it's f friends coming together to perform music. And I just love that aspect of it. So. Yuda Bim Band. Um, we're going to take a gamble. This is a live performance of it from 11 days ago. There is a studio recording version of it, but I figured I kind of wanted to, one, enjoy some visuals with it, but two, bands live hit a lot different than on the studio recordings and oftentimes hit harder than on studio recordings. So I want to give this song its fair use and given that there was like a pretty high quality live version of it, I wanted to watch it in the live version. So. Let's jump right into it. Here we go. Oh, actually, if this did get blocked, uh, I'm going to try doing the whole like censoring thing over the video. And so, yeah, we won't tr we won't run P Cloud and we'll just try censoring it. If people want to see the uncensored version, I can upload it over on P Cloud as well. If people would like that, let me know. But let's check out YouTube Invents over the dream. Here we go. What's really cool about Yuta Bim Band is just like how much they've grown up already since GSI, since Great Soul Invasion. Apologies if it's a little bit quiet, I can't really do anything about that. The video's maxed out. I love how gentle this song is though. Just every single aspect about this song is so gentle, whether it be from the Hammond organ type synth, the super minimal, like, percussion part. Same with the bass and the guitar in the background. It's just very minimal. Nothing too complicated. Now we're getting a little bit of movement in the background instrumentals, in the guitar and the bass.
Junyun's guitar solo you know, is a very unintrusive guitar solo. It's very appropriate for the setting the song is being placed in. Turn up the overdrive a little bit on the guitar. Now that like I'm assuming this is what the final course and like the major flourish of the final course is like. Oh, that was cool. That was a really cool way to end the song. I didn't want to I didn't want to talk over it but that was really cool how balanced the song sounds that when there's the really like delicate vocals from Yuta and herself it the song and the instrumentals behind it are allowing her gentle voice to just have that airy delicate nature to it and it's letting her voice shine and like the instrumental part is taking a little break from the background, almost like isolating her voice in a way. But once the flourish comes in and you get her more like fuller vocals, you get the fuller instrumental parts. And it's really a case of the instrumental part and the vocal part working in harmony with each other. Not just musically, in terms of like playing the notes that complement each other but musically in that they are accommodating for the other part. And I think that's really well written. And it's written by people who understand the band's dynamic. And I'm pretty sure Yudovin herself composes most, if not all, of their stuff anyways. Which makes sense why they know like the group so much, because it is one of the group members writing it. But it's just it really nice balanced song where if you need a little bit of power everyone gives you a little bit more power whether it be in the chorus or maybe there's like a pre-chorus build up or so both the vocalist and the instrumental parts work in sync to build up that power a little bit and then once you need to kind of take away the energy a little bit and let the vocals and the delicate instrumentals kind of fill the ears they both work together where the vocals switch to a nice delicate tone. The instrumentals become really soft and it, like almost atmospheric in a way where it's really, the sound stage is really wide and it rings, but it's not like an intrusive ring. It's like a gentle hum that accentuates the delicate vocals. It's just so well balanced. Oh. You'd have been banned. They're a good time. K bands are always a great time. Man. I, I love K bands, man. I love, like, group band music in general. Like, don't get me wrong, like, this is, like, a K pop channel at the end of the day. And I love K pop. But the thing about a K band is that they ultimately do something that k-pop artists don't do in their music and that is the whole like band aesthetic whether it be their sound signature or their composition standard like band music like k-band music and k-pop music will always have a differentiation between the two and i love that we're able to experience both not just one or the other and i really hope that other people of f other fans of groups that are like kind of more isolated one or the other kind of take the gamble and just cross over into the other genre because 
it really is a cool experience. It doesn't matter who it is. It's a really cool experience to check out a K-Band. And for K-Band enthusiasts, there are some really cool K standard K-pop artists out there who do stuff very... S that's kind of like along the similar lines of what K-Band music is, but kind of in their own K-pop way. And it's just... <sighs> I can't talk highly about them, man. There's so much fun to listen to. But that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see what channel icon is up there, you can find the back catalog of stuff I watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whatever upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.